friends, it's Ro, welcome back. I am so excited to make this video. I have a collab today. I have somebody else coming on the channel. You read the title, so you know it's Michael Santos, who did our Life After Prison update with his wife, Carol. You guys loved it. They did a series for us. They answer all of your questions. They're amazing. So let me tell you a little background about this, and then we'll go into Michael's video. So if you're interested in this new collaboration with Michael, hearing about how we got partnered together on this and how he got into this business that could help you, your loved one, me, strong prison wives, prison wives, like everybody, him, it's amazing. Please keep watching. you are new here. My name is Ro. I'm the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life, but I will teach you how to make the best out of this really painful, hopefully one shot deal. What was that face? Really painful. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys all know by now that we got amazing news last week that Adam's compassionate release was granted. We are waiting for him to go back to court for resentencing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you didn't get a chance to see that video, I will put it up there in the cards. But basically, Adam does not have a 213 year sentence anymore. Those words still don't even feel real, but he's waiting for resentencing because they knocked down his mandatory minimums. We're waiting to see what they resentence him to. Is it time served? Is it gonna be, you know, I don't know. I have no idea. That's enough about that. So Michael, who's a friend of mine, called me to congratulate me when he heard the news. And we got to talking and he was telling me about this new business venture. And he said, have you ever heard of CBD? And I was like, Michael, I love CBD. I swear by CBD because I have always had very bad anxiety, but I have a lot of anxiety surrounding prison wife life, surrounding visit in the past, surrounding things like appeals being denied, things like thinking we were gonna get a, get clemency and not get it. Things like Bill's coming into play and then dying and thinking he's coming home, but he's not. And coworkers finding out. People saying really harsh stuff to your face about your relationship. Trying to stay in the closet to certain people and come out to other people. There is so much anxiety. Oh my God, just processing it, visit, just to get through the metal detector, to make sure that your shoes, that your clothes, that your hair, that your jewelry, that everything's gonna work out that day, that you can get in there before they lock you out for count and then you have to come back three hours later and you guys know the drill. There is a lot of anxiety surrounding this life. There would be times that I would literally wake up in the middle of the night <gasps> gasping for air because of the anxiety that I felt. Wait, while you could see it, let's just show you my new SPWF shirt. It says, bye bye little girl. Can you see it? Bye bye little girl. And on the back, it says one day closer, excuse the sports bra. I've been living in sports bras since quarantine because who needs a bra? Ever since Kat took over our merch line, the designs are beautiful. I should have handed it over to her forever ago because your girl's not an artist. Anyway, so, 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 so much anxiety in my life surrounding prison wife life. Something that I found that helped me not be so anxious, even not around prison wife life, like even around my job, I would always get so anxious about getting on calls with clients. I get really nervous sometimes before calls with clients, especially more difficult clients. So I discovered CBD about two, maybe three years ago, and it was life changing for me. Life changing for me. Literally, if I had a call on a Monday afternoon with an attorney, I would start getting nervous on Friday and my whole weekend would be ruined. Ever since I started taking CBD, I've felt more normal. Yes, I still have anxiety in certain situations, it's not nearly as bad as it was. People ask me how I'm dealing with not knowing about Adam coming home, how I'm not freaking out doing backflips. CBD, you guys. I have such severe anxiety, but I refuse, refuse to take anxiety medication. I'm just like a very natural, holistic person. I don't have anything against medication for people that need it or want it. It's just not the route I choose to take and things that I choose to put in my body. I prefer to be more holistic and less chemical, just my preference. So Michael asked me, do you know of CBD? I'm like, I swear by CBD. He was like, oh my God, bro. I want to help you and Adam. I want to help strong prison wives and families. I want to sponsor your channel through 
my organization, CBDTV.com. I had no idea what it was. So I have some products I got from CBDTV that I'm gonna do a whole entire unboxing video. I'm gonna do product review video. I can honestly review it. And let me tell you, I've used two of the products so far. I have not been able to run. Remember I told you guys I gained a lot of weight in quarantine. That's because during quarantine, my knee gave out. I'm not just Googling. I have a degree in sports medicine. So I know basically the injuries. I'm pretty sure I have patellar tendonitis. So I get maybe, maybe 50 yards into a run and I keep trying it like the next day. It's going to miraculously get better and I can't run anymore. So I've been kind of sedentary besides for on my bike and like using weights and stuff. Dumbbells are all I have. So my partner at the gym swore by CBD lotion because she had a shoulder issue where she couldn't hang. She couldn't use certain weights and she was able to get through her workouts and heal her injury using CBD joint muscle cream. So I ordered that when I did the unboxing, you'll see in that video, it's a roll on. I rolled some on my bad knee and then I had just finished a workout when I did that unboxing. You'll see I was sweaty, but I took a shower. I still felt it working in the shower, normally going up and down the stairs. I have an achy knee. Normally just sitting here in this chair talking for a while, I will have an achy knee. I've not felt my knee all day. And the only thing I've done, I do not, by the way, take Advil. I don't take Tylenol. I don't take things like that. This I feel nothing. That's the only thing I did was roll that on. But when I was ordering these products, I was trying to get a range of stuff so you guys can see a range of stuff. So I was getting the joint and muscle for my joint and muscle girls that have issues with like arthritis and joint pain and injuries and that kind of stuff. I also, I know that people are into CBD beauty. So I got a CBD infused vitamin C serum because I have problems with dark spots on my face and vitamin C is really, really good for that. And CBD is known for anti-aging and that kind of stuff. So I used this after the shower today under my moisturizer. My skin feels baby soft. I love it. Obviously you're not going to be able to tell if it does anything for dark spots for a few months, but so far love it. And then I did not try this. I got a tincture because that's what I take every single night before bed. It helps me sleep. This is not a review video at all. It's just my initial excitement about this. So if you guys you guys use CBD, you're looking for a new company. This is all natural. They literally have their lab reports on the website. Ah. I've been looking for a new company because the company I used was a mom and pop farm organization. Love, love, loved them until they unfortunately sold out to big corporate. And I get it, I get companies have to do that because that's where the money is. But at the same time, when in my opinion, you sell out to big corporate, you're kind of selling your soul to the devil because then they start dirtying down the products. When I came across Michael's CBD, he sent me the website. He's like, look, order what you want. And when I was looking through the website, I was like, oh, lab reports. I can see exactly what's in this. I could see that it's organic. I could see that they didn't add anything extra or anything like that. I'm going to make a whole video about, you know, passing drug tests at the prison on CBD. Been there, done it. You're fine. It's not THC, you guys. It's CBD. There is no like getting high factor at all. It's a totally different part of the plant. We will talk about that later. I do not want this to go on for ages and ages and ages. Michael was kind of concerned that maybe it sounds like a commercial, but I asked him to do this. I asked him to give us a background, how he started this, why he started this, and how this can help us. He also was so kind. So he created a link for you guys. It is cbdtv.com backslash spwf. It will be up there. It'll also be in the description box below. And if you use that link, you will get a 15% discount on any and every product on that site. Thank you guys for supporting Michael. This is so amazing because he's doing this in an effort to also support me and to help me support Adam coming home to support Strong Prison Wives and Families, the nonprofit. I mean, there's just so many amazing things to say, but I don't want to waste any more time on this video. I promise I will be back with a full review of these products and unboxing and then also comparing the old, trying to hide what that was, but the old CBD product to Michael's CBD product to see which one I like better what differences I felt, if I felt any differences, if I thought one was better than another, and tell you all about benefits of CBD if you guys don't know, and how as a prison wife they benefit me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, for days. I told Michael, I was like, I should honestly be a sales rep for a CBD company because I swear by it, it has changed my life so much that I will 
talk about it to anybody that'll listen. I will sing its praises. And this is a perfect fit for a sponsor of our channel, very first sponsor. And who better than Michael Santos, the OG prison author to be sponsoring this channel, humbled. I told him on the phone, I'm like, how does this week get any better? It just keeps getting better. Yesterday, Adam was granted compassionate release. Today, you're offering me a sponsorship. What? What's gonna happen tomorrow? So that's it, without wasting any more time, here is Michael and his background about CBD TV, how he got involved, and how his prison professors can help you and your loved ones absolutely for free, of course. He is so into using his businesses to fund his passion project and his nonprofit and to help people in prison so they can get out and they can stay out and they can live happily ever after. That's why our messages are so aligned. Without wasting any more time, here's Michael. My name is Michael Santos. I'm with Prison Professors, but I'm super enthusiastic to be announcing a new collaboration with strong prison wives and families. And that collaboration is not only with prison professors, but it's with a new venture that I've launched called CBDTV.com. And CBDTV.com is generating resources that will help us provide more tools and, and, and courses for people who are confined in prisons and jails across America. Today, what I'd like to do with this video is tell you a little bit about how we started this program, why we started this program. But first of all, I definitely want to thank Ro Clausen and every viewer of Strong Prison and wives and families. Now, some of you may be somewhat familiar with my with who I am because you may have seen some of the earlier videos that I did with my wife, who was a real strong prison wife. We married inside of a federal prison back in 2003, and we while well, I was going through 26 years in federal prisons of every security level, uh, my wife Kate Carol came into my life during my final decade, and we've now been together for about 19 years. Seven 17 years we were married, the first 10 years of our marriage was inside of a federal prison. So for that reason, I have got a tremendous amount of respect for all of the, everybody in the community of strong prison wives and families, because I know how important it is for your loved ones inside to be thinking about, you know, uh, having, for your loved ones inside to know that they have somebody that is close to them and that they are working with and that they are building their life towards. And one of the things that I feel really passionately about is helping people in jail, in prison, understand what steps they can take today to prove worthy of the love that has come their way from the strong prison wives and families that are standing beside them. And I like to do that by sharing the strategies that worked for me while I was going through 26 years, starting inside of a high security penitentiary, moving to medium security prisons, then low security prisons, before I transitioned into minimum security camps and then released to a halfway house and finally home confinement. So during those 9,500 days, I really went through the entire you know, panoply of, of programs that the Bureau of Prisons offers and and I did it in every security level. But what really struck me as being important is, is to begin preparing for the journey while I was in prison and what I would do when I came home. And I really, when I got out, I really wanted to share these strategies with as many people as possible. And that's what Prison Professors is all about. Prison Professors creates courses and books and, and, and programs that we distribute to jails and prisons across America. And what we share inside of these programs is how to you know, really begin thinking in a deliberate, methodical way, how to begin thinking about what what can I do today to make sure that when I get out of prison, I have a successful return to society? And all of that really begins by defining success. We as individuals have to say we're not going to be defined by where we are today or by what's in our past, but rather we are going to create this very clear vision of what it is that we want to accomplish, how we want to live, how we want to take care of our loved ones outside, and what we can do to come back and make sure that we are an integral part of the family and not really just um, leeching off of other people who have been helping us for so long. I know that strong prison wives and families, uh, it's a bit of a challenge because my wife had that challenge. I mean, she had to move 23 times, I think, during the time that I was incarcerated, just so that she could be there to visit with me every single weekend. 
and we always had a plan, we always had a strategy that we were working toward, and I want to show other people how to develop those, those strategies, how to document those strategies, how to create tools, tactics, and resources that will help them execute on those strategies, and how to measure their progress every single day. So that's what Prison Professors does is we, tr we create these types of courses that teach people how to be the CEO of their own life, how to begin navigating their way to a successful outcome. But we can't sell these to people in prison. What we have to do is collaborate with uh, prisons and jails across America, both state prisons and federal prisons. And sometimes those institutions have a budget to bring our programs in. Sometimes they don't. So what I have done is created relationships with business organizations out here, and that is what launched us into CBDTV.com. The reason that I wanted to get into this space, not only because CBD is one of the fastest growing businesses in America and legal in every state, but because it, it doesn't have any THC and it has no component that's going to you know, get people high, it can provide a, a, a source of relieving anxiety, of helping people sleep better, of you know, just um, it, it, removing aches and pains and can do so in a natural way. And so when I read stories about that, I wanted to say, geez, maybe that's the kind of business that can help uh, you know, uh, support these efforts that we are making toward prison reform and towards sentence reform, and more importantly, toward helping people who are incarcerated recognize what they can do to begin preparing for a successful life upon release. Because the more resources that I could create, the more I could distribute these courses for free, the more I could continue building prison professors as a platform so that there can be uh, more of an interactive component where people in prison can be going through the courses and their loved ones in society can be uh, going through them at the same time for free. No consumer would have to pay for these products as long as I can build these types of businesses. So what I did is I reached out to the leading CBD supplier in one of the leading C CBD suppliers in the world, that's CBDFX. I met with the CEO of that organization and I told him what my thoughts were that you know, that with, with all of these problems that we have in society, with millions of people unemployed, with a pandemic going on, with um, so much social unrest, and the reality is that so many people in prison are really overly represented of coming from backgrounds of struggle, and those people are gonna have a really hard time transitioning into society and getting jobs. So I wanted to, I told the CEO of CBDFX that I wanna create these tools that would help people learn how to develop their own income streams. That's what I had to do after 26 years in prison. I knew that society would not always be welcoming to a person who served multiple decades in prison. So I had to figure out and learn how to build my own businesses, create my own income streams, and that's what I have been doing during the first seven years of my liberty. In fact, I'm filming this video in August of 2020 just because I want to celebrate this new collaboration with Strong Prison Wives and Families. And uh, this is, it'll be in another two weeks, it'll be seven full years since I concluded my obligation to the Bureau of Prisons in August of 2013. So after I got the buy-in from the CEO of CBDFX, to allow me to launch this new venture, I went to another business with whom I have a relationship, and that's Pandora Marketing. And I met with the CEOs of, of those co that company, and I said, look, I want to build this new business, this new business of CBD TV that will allow us to distribute CBD to people all across the country, and the revenues that come from that will support this program at prison professors that we use to teach and inspire more people in prison. And I asked them if they would get behind it and they, they fell in line with the strategy. And why did they do it? Because just like the, the CEO of CBDFX, 
just like me, just like I suspect every one of you at Strong Prison Wives and Family, we recognize that our, our nation's commitment to mass incarceration represents one of the greatest social injustices of our time. And it's our responsibility as formerly incarcerated people to reach back inside of the prisons and the jails and to help those people understand, hey, now is the time to begin sowing seeds that will help us emerge successfully. And so I created a lot of courses. One of the courses called the CEO Mindset. One of the courses is called the Straight A Guide. Of course, I've got a number of books available. They're all available at prisonprofessors.com. And all of the products that I create are really designed to help prisoners, people in prison, understand how do you create your own resources? How do I get ready for success? But ultimately, I would like to just give these products away to anybody that requests them, including entire institutions. Right now, I am in every state prison in California. These programs are in. I am in the federal prison in Atwater, California, the federal prison in Victorville, California, the um, ADX in Florence, Colorado, and in all of the prisons at these different complexes, I believe, have access to the program. But I personally have, have went to these institutions and made a presentation. And there's a, there's a funny thing. When I go into the prisons, a lot of times people who don't know me will say, ah, that fool was never in prison because maybe I don't look hard enough. But that was the plan to be able to go through the journey of lengthy term in prison, come back strong with my dignity intact and be able to function in society and, and, and create deals and transactions with leaders of business and allow us to, you know, allow me to build my own income. And that was how I wanted to prove worthy of my own strong prison wife. And uh, she's a big part of, of, of everything that I do. Just like I know that your husband is a big part or your loved one in prison is a big part of everything you do. So what, so what I did is after I created this entire venture, and you can see the um, products that we have available, whether they are tinctures, whether they are um, edibles, whether they are gummy bears, whether they are balms, whether there's even pet foods, every type of product we represent at CBDTV.com. And if you are a, uh, use the promo code that we've created specifically for members of Strong Prison Wives and Families, and that would be CBDTV.com slash S. PWF, you get 15% off of any product and the CBD product will be delivered right to your home. I know that Roe is going to be do an un, do, just doing some videos of unboxing because she and I are mutually aligned in trying to help as many people who come home from prison emerge successfully. This was one way that I could support Roe and support Adam while simultaneously I am hoping that her community at Strong Prison Wives and Families will support us at cbdtv.com. If you haven't been a member of the Prison Professor's YouTube channel, I would invite you to come there as well. I'll be building the CBD TV. It's Watch CBD TV YouTube channel as well. But the main one that I create is Prison Professors because that's what I use as a tool to reach into jails and prison and try and write what I consider to be the greatest social injustice of our time. And all of these resources go toward building more programs to teach and inspire people in prison, but also spread more awareness on why we need reforms that will allow people to come home sooner, just as I hope uh, your husband and your loved one will come home sooner. My name is Michael Santos. I'm with Prison Professor and the founder of CBD TV. I do hope that you will join our community and place an order with CBDTV.com as a show of support for the work that we're doing at Prison Professors and with Strong Prison Wives and Families. Thank you very much. If you guys are interested in hearing more about Michael and his story and his story with his wife after prison, I have a whole playlist with them that I will link up there. And if you're interested in checking out these products, click that link there or in the description box below. There are so many different types of products on the site. They have CBD relaxers. They have CBD with also energy in it. I want to get that one next time. Face products, joint products, gummies, you name it. It's there. Check them out by using my link so you get 15% off. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.